in the first chapter you have read about the physical political divisions of india the indian states and the union territories the divisions and uh, there you have also learned their capitals the states and the capitals the union territory and their capital the state government uh, and the union government or the central government here in the second chapter you shall read the physical uh, divisions of india you have learned already learned in your previous class that there are various kinds of landforms present on the surface of the earth if every continent and country has mountain ranges plains plateaus deserts and rivers india too has its own share of these landforms these are called physical features so in the last class you have read about the physical uh, 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 parts or the various kinds of the landforms like mountain ranges plains plateaus deserts and rivers so all these present in uh, uh, all these are present on the continent and in the countries uh, and uh, in india too has its share of all these physical features um, or the landforms when a single type of landform or physical feature predominates Uh, or extends over a large area it is it forms a physical division so when a single uh, uh, single form land form uh, uh, go, extends over a large area for example the mountain mountains over a large area forming a range uh, uh, there it is a mountain mountainous parts or the mountain and it is it forms a physical division usually this physical division show a similarity in their climatic soil and natural vegetation characteristics so in the mountain region you have the same climatic and the soil so rocky soil uh, then the climate is cold natural vegetation uh, is having they are having the similar over a large area thus such a region can also be termed as natural region in a natural region due to the similarities in the uh, in the physical characteristics the human activities that developed are also uh, somewhat similar uh, for example in the flat uh, river plains people usually practice uh, agriculture whereas uh, on um, the mountains areas animal rearing is common so in the same natural region Uh, the uh, all the uh, characteristics the human activities are same so there you have uh, there the people uh, have the same type of occupation for example i am taking the uh, mountainous region in mountainous region um, they the, the animal rearing is common and uh, and in the river plains uh, the the people practice agriculture so there are uh, five physical divisions of india the northern mountains the northern plains the peninsula or central plateau the thought desert the coastal plains so five physical divisions of india are there and here in this chapter we shall read the two physical divisions the northern mountains and the northern plains so uh, here is a map of india showing the physical divisions of india so uh, you see uh, the uh, purple color is the northern plains the purple the purple color is the northern northern mountains sorry the the purple color are the northern mountains from jammu and kashmir to the arunachal pradesh and in the uh, below it below the northern mountains are the northern plains see this color is the northern the ganga basin and the brahmaputra basin uh, is the uh, northern plains then comes the central plateau uh, here 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 is the central plateau uh, or uh, the peninsula plateau this brown color the coastal plains this is the eastern coastal plain the western coastal plains uh, they join at the at the in the southern tip uh, these are both the plains Uh, and uh, uh, 
you see here the coastal plains and in the uh, yellow part is the third desert yellow part is the third desert and the deep green part are the islands the deep green parts are the islands see here is the islands now i am coming to the uh, northern mountains location and extent the lofty ranges forming a wall uh, across the northern uh, borders of india are the are not only the highest in the world but also the youngest they form an uh, uh, arc stretching from jammu and kashmir in the west to arunachal pradesh in the east for about 2500 km so here again i am showing the map see this is from the jammu and kashmir to the uh, arunachal pradesh here here in the uh, east you see it is 2000 from here to here is the 2500 kilometers uh, the the himalayan region the himalayan region the himalayan region the himalayan ranges are the highest and the youngest um, of all the mountain ranges um, and you see that the himalaya means the abode of snow that means it is covered always with snow the northern mountains also include other ranges such as karakoram uh, uh, janskar and the ladakh see here at the here at the karakoram uh, uh, ladakh and janskar ranges see three ranges are also there uh, uh, the mount k2 or gordon austin uh, lies on the uh, karakoram range Uh, the region beyond the greater himalayas is uh, cold barren and bleak it is known as the uh, trans himalayas so beyond the beyond the beyond the greater himalayas this part uh, is the barren and uh, bleak barren barren is, that means uh, no uh, it is not fertile and bleak no vegetation is there so uh, that part is be uh, a barren land and it is called the uh, uh, trans himalayas origin that is how it has been originated how it is uh, how it has been uh, created how do you think uh, uh, this mighty range has been formed well long long ago there uh, existed a shallow sea called the uh, tethys sea uh, which existed in the place where um, himalayas are today later on due to massive earth movements the sediments on the uh, on this sea were squeezed or compressed giving rise to huge folds these huge folds are uh, in fact the mountain ranges of the north which are known as fold mountains now you got the idea how the himalayan mountains are formed so at first in the beginning uh, when uh, in the beginning there where the place is the himalayan mountains uh, or himalayan ranges was the stethys sea so by uh, by the movement of the art the sediments of the stethys sea began to rise up to rise up to huge folds and these folds went on rising day by day year after year and it forms the northern uh, northern range or the northern mountain range known as himalayas and still they are growing so they are called the young fold mountains and they are the youngest of all the fold mountains now you can understand how the himalayas uh, the northern himalayas has originated or uh, what is the origin of northern himalayas so today up to this you learn it you read it and uh, next day i shall read the second part and make you understand the second part of this chapter thank you